ladies and gentlemen a moment of privilege and pride as we have the presence of the worthy chief guest of lpu nest study grant second and third edition honorable governor mizoram his excellency dr kambapati hari babu sir we would all now rise for the national anthem so like to welcome and recognize the presence of pro chancellor lovely professor university dr sanjay modi sir pro chancellor lovely professor university dr lavi raj gupta sir executive dean dr monica gulati ma'am senior dean and head of the dean of admissions professor dr rajiv sopti sir someone said push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you contrary to the above we at lpu believe in doing it for those who deserve and always support the cause that is noble today's event ladies and gentlemen is our contribution to this thought and creed in pursuit of quality education lovely professor university attempts to reach to the most deserving and meritorious student by providing a study grant today we will be rewarding the eligible students of the second that is 2020 edition and the third edition 2021 it is our ongoing effort to encourage and provide substantial support to prospective students by constantly giving them scholarships and financial assistance once again it's a privilege for me to welcome on board an eminent personality honorable governor mizoram the chief guest of the event his excellency dr kambapati hari babu sir i would request a pro vice chancellor dr sanjay modi sir and dr lavi raj gupta sir to please present a symbol of life to the worthy chief guest so like to welcome and recognize the presence of the first lady of mizoram ma'am accompanying us thank you for being with us ma'am since we are talking about knowledge and it is apt that before we begin this very august ceremony we should seek the blessings of the goddess of knowledge and wisdom requesting the dignitaries to please step forward for the lamp lighting ceremony
dignitaries and thank you audience after the blessings of the goddess of knowledge and wisdom it's time for the inaugural address and for the same let me request our pro vice chancellor dr laviraj gupta sir a very good noon to everybody i'm privileged to welcome you all to a festival i call this as festival because the festivity which is going to be celebrated is of passion perseverance perseverance and performance which all of you have done to rise up to this lpuness grant i give a good round of applause to all of you and who other than a teacher an electronics engineer a doctorate in control systems a doctorate in cdma technology and a people's man to award you and to be the chief guest i with pride and privilege welcome the presence of dr kambapati hari babu the honorable governor of mizoram i hereby acknowledge the presence of the first lady of the state of mizoram thank you so much madam for coming i welcome all the parents so children this time your lords should be louder because now you are applauding for your parents who are present here or who are not present here because these are the ones who supported you at any given point of time who gave you the tea at 2 o'clock in the night so that you can solve one more numerical in a better way these are the ones who were running after you before the iit je exams with the sandwich in their hands that beta please ye khale jaldi se thoda acha paper ho jayega isn't that so give a good round of applause to your parents now coming to somebody who in past one and a half years oh uh, not years i i think that i might have had time of one and a half years to spend with him but i was spending one and a half hours with honorable governor ji and you know the kind of passion i'll take a little longer maybe 2 3 minutes a little longer but you know my mindset has completely changed as a teacher i've been teaching since 33 years engineering itself but you know the kind of insights he has given me he has given me an insight that an engineer has to think beyond the book an engineer and i have taken a pledge of starting a new culture in lpu os os one student one skill he told me that each and every student of this country be be, be, be mechanical engineer or computer scientist or a student from hotel management he should have at least one skill which he can stand in 1000 crowd and say that yes i have that skill even that is a skill of you know repairing a bicycle and that is that is what is the need of the hour i can talk about ages and ages but i'll give you a very simple plain example as a member of parliament what he did he was visiting polytechnics around wizag government polytechnics and they were into skill and enablement of driving to the students and he saw that there are no vehicles proper vehicles so how could the student get skills he from his mp lad account 
gifted each of those polytechnics uh, LMV and HMV. And now those students are wonderfully trained and skilled. Give a good round of applause for that. A very futuristic vision, which I personally feel all the all the people sitting here, maybe uh, computer science graduates or people who are into app, app development. He said, why can't Uber and Ola have a feature that if a female is onboarding the cab, he, she has a selection of a driver as a female only, so that she can be more comfortable while that driving. So can't that be a game changing in the navigation? Can't you build another Ola and Uber by his thoughts? And if you become unicorn by doing that, say thanks to him. <laughs> Honorable sir, I said that today is the festival. Today we are granting scholarships to the students who have fared well in the national level examinations and have reached to the premier institutes of this country, be it in engineering like IITs or NITs, in IHMs, in hotel management, maybe through CLAT or some, uh, some uh, tests like that, in law, design. And this is our role for them to grow, our role to support parents and to give them a very small but a very meaningful reward of one lakh each so that they can buckle up their shoes to become the successful leaders of tomorrow. We are celebrating two seasons here, 2020 and 2021. Jointly, in these two seasons, we have got around 211 students ranging from engineering to hotel management to law or to design. 211 students are being awarded 1 lakh rupees each. So that sums up to 2.11 crores. The intent is plain and simple that it is not only the students who are studying at LPU should get the privilege, but all the students who are somehow, somewhere associated to LPU, maybe through LPU Nest, gets that privilege and pride out of their hard work and persuasion. I wish all of you a wonderful career ahead so that you can come back to LPU once you become the unicorns and stand there in this auditorium to guide your fellow LPUNs. With this, I wish you all the very best. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And rightly mentioned by the Honorable Chief Guest that degrees may take you there, but skills make you excel. To hear more of such wisdom and thoughts. It's my privilege to invite on stage a personality who is an able administrator, a committed statesperson, an astute politician, and above all, a passionate educator. By qualification, he is an engineering graduate before doing his master's and then PhD in the control systems and sharing his expertise with students for almost two and a half decades. Simultaneously, finding his calling in the field of politics, first as a student leader, then as a member of the Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly and Lok Sabha. He is a famous face in the Indian politics and is recognized for his zeal and dedication to serve the nation. Your Honor is currently the Governor of Mizoram State since July 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause before we request the Honorable Chief Guest to address this August gathering. His Excellency, Dr. Kambapati Haribabu, sir.
डॉक्टर लोवीराज गुप्ता जी प्रो वाइस चांसलर लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर संजय मोदी प्रो वाइस चांसलर एलपीयू राजीव सोपती सोपती हेड ऑफ एडमिशंस एडमिशंस डॉक्टर मोनिका गुलाटी रजिस्ट्रार एलपीयू ऑफिशियल्स फ्रॉम एलपीयू माय डियर अवार्डीज आई एम एक्सट्रीमली डिलाइटेड टू बी द चीफ गेस्ट ऑन द अकेशन ऑफ द लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी नेशनल एंट्रेंस एंड स्कॉलरशिप टेस्ट एलपीयू नेस्ट स्टडी ग्रांट अवार्ड सेरेमनी सेकंड एंड थर्ड एडिशन at the very outset i place on record my deep appreciation to dr ashok mittal the chancellor and his talented team for making lovely professional university a wonderful asset for the whole of the country <clears throat> i have noted that lpu has performed very well across various international and national rankings including the national institutional ranking framework i also have noted to particular in particular that the prestigious world's universities with real impact ratings 2022 has ranked lpu second in india I was pleasantly surprised to learn about the unique study grant by LPU where I was informed that the students can avail significant sums as scholarship in order to pursue education many of the to their own students pursuing in their own institutions but this is the first time i am coming across that one education institution is giving scholarship for the students who are pursuing in other educational institutions of repute i really congratulate the university for undertaking this activity in other educational institutions of repute such as iits iims and nits etc I was further very pleased to know that more than 8 crore worth of study grant is being provided to a number of students under the first second and third editions of this LPU Nest study grant initiative Before I was elected as member of legislative assembly and subsequently as member of parliament I was as an associate professor in the Andhra University Engineering College. Therefore, education is the is a subject which is very close to my heart. As such, I wholeheartedly and sincerely commend this noble endeavour by LPU to help uh, deserving and meritorious students. to avail quality education here i feel that it is apt to speak about the historic national education policy nep 2020 launched under the leadership of honorable prime minister shri narendra modi replacing the decade old educational policy <clears throat> the nep 2020 emphasizes the need for skill development while pursuing education it seems to prepare students for entrepreneurship and aims to make them job creators instead of becoming job seekers that is the thing that was being emphasized by our pro vice chancellor that you should be in a position to develop many more unicorns from this institute and from other institutions where you are pursuing your education the nep 
promotes students entre student entrepreneurs with executive with exposure to vocational education from an early age it should be done it provides for rigorous research based specialization within a multidisciplinary and holistic education closer collaboration between industry and academic institutions is actively encouraged to drive innovation and research i am glad to know that lpu is performing well on these fronts as is evident from the lpu being ranked third in order in, our, in india in the atal ranking of institutions of innovation achievements i think this is the prestigious ranking the lpu has already got i encourage the faculty and the students to keep up the good work and to continuously push towards skill development and entrepreneurship at the same time i want to emphasize upon the importance of the new education policy in all the facets honorable prime minister shri narendra modi himself has, taught, has stated that i quote the new education policy will play an important role in the making of atmanirbhar self reliant modern new and prosperous india unquote he said that the nep will connect the students with the roots of our country and at the same time give opportunities to develop them as global citizens as a leading private university in the country lpu has a special responsibility to ensure the success of national education policy 2020 i am happy to say that lpu is already moving in the right direction regarding one main focus area of nep which is the shift towards large multidisciplinary universities and colleges i am sure that we are also actively pursuing the proposed reform of moving towards a more realistic and multidisciplinary education i urge all of us to renew and redouble our efforts as we seek to make india a global knowledge superpower <laughs> swami vivekananda beautifully quoted that quote education is the manifestation of the perfection already in man unquote education does not merely mean literacy rather education is the manifestation of what is within a student talent based education which brings about the overall quality development of a student's character should be our aim i am happy that the nep 2020 has made key changes in order to attain this type of quality education we must ensure the progress of that creativity thinking process and innovations through education i just now heard from the pro vice chancellor that uh, the students have got lot of patents in the lpu really it is a great thing in order to construct a new india and fulfill our nation's dream of becoming self reliant we need to constantly evolve and came up with the newer better and more effective ideas therefore education is inevitably the basic foundation for a self reliant india today i congratulate all the deserving students who have been awarded with the valuable study grants you have earned this valuable 
opportunity by merit through your hard work and dedication it is my sincere hope that these study grants will help you to achieve many great things in life the nation looks to you to lead us into an even more prosperous and glorious new india in conclusion i thank dr ashok mittal and the lpu family for inviting me for this wonderful and noble function and i once again congratulate all the students who have been provided with study grants thank you jai hind thank you sir for showing the road map and we will try to follow that both in letter and spirit so now we would like to felicitate our honorable chief guest and requesting the pro vice chancellor dr sanjay modi sir and dr lavi raj gupta sir and the other dignitaries to please present a small token of love and gratitude on behalf of the lpu family Agility and responsiveness has been the hallmark of LPU. The third trident is to recognize and value excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time now to recognize and reward the achievement of the meritorious students who deservedly earned the study grant. As I request the dignitaries to please step forward, I would request. the recipients to please since we are awarding this as a second and third edition first we would be announcing the names of the 2020 the second edition awardees and as i call on stage the first batch of the recipients from iit bhu varanasi rakesh achuta Devyanshu Gupta, Manik, Bhumi Reddy, Shashank Maurya, Gaurav Kumar, Prakhar Agarwal, Prakhar Agarwal. Sorry. Let's have a big round of applause for these people who have worked hard and the parents who have inspired them to work hard. going on to the next batch of the recipients and this time the contingent is from IIT Bombay can we have on floor the recipient Sandeep Verma Kanchetti Sri Lavya Arun Soni Adarsh Dubey Malina Dembala Gurpreet Singh Wadwa Guduru Manoj Snehal Shangari Meghana Achanti I think they deserved a louder applause than that ladies and gentlemen Let's beat the heat with the more applaud that the deserving students in the deserve it 
Moving on to the third contention, ladies and gentlemen, time for IIT Delhi. Second edition 2020, Kartik Sharma, Ayush Kumar Banwal, Karan Jain, Darshan Dattare, Tushar Kant Sahu, Harshita Jain, Munazil Anwar, Bhavik Sankhala, Iravli Shri Harishta, Ayush Mishra. That was IIT Delhi, ladies and gentlemen. The fourth contingent for the second edition study grant award. This time calling on stage IIT Dhanabad. Rohit Kumar. Sai Sanjay Marni. RSN Susmit Reddy. Rajiv Kumar. These are from IIT Dhanabad, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have it for them. Next calling on stage. This time it's for IIT Guwahati Second Edition 2020 Study Grant Award. Arka Dutta. Yakala. Hema Venkatarao, Aturi Nagaredi, Satyam Bansal, Akshay Chintala, and Maldeep. They also deserve an equal round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Still continuing with the second edition of the LPU Nest Study Grant Award 2020. Calling on stage the next contingent of recipients, IIT Indore this time. Nanavali Suri Surini Krita, Amit Davali, IIT Indore, M. Krishna Ananda Reddy, and Yash Mohan. Thank you. Next we have contingent from IIT Kanpur, Gavish Garg, Raghav Arya, Akash Mittal, Jasjot Singh, Raghavendra Chaudhary Gutta, Hariyom Vedya, Upen Mishra, Ayush Agarwal. Thank you ladies and gentlemen and moving on to the next contingent and recipient IIT Kharagpur this time Dasti Tarun Narendra Babu Aman Goswami Shri Krishna Lakshman Rao Pokapudi Kushwant Bupati Arsha Sai Anandu Enrar Himanshu Yadav I think the applauds are drying down, ladies and gentlemen. Can you have it for them, please? Thank you. Moving on to IIT Madras. Lalit Aditya. Satya Sai Charan. Krishna Sain Kota Kota. Hema Srikar. My name is SV Sai Tejaredi. Malad Divya, Surendra Kaswan, Venkata Sesa Harichadan. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and the proud recipients moving on to the next 
part of the contingent the recipients are from iit roorkee second edition aryan kumar guna sai mahesh aditya agarwal shivam yadav kukkarappu sai akula pradeep iit roorkee ladies and gentlemen and i think they also deserve an equally big round of applause moving on to the next recipient sir and ma'am we have the contingent from iit bhubneshwar sai yashwanath reddy iit gandhinagar aryan gupta iit hyderabad anshul gupta iit jammu ravnish jandyal iit jammu again saurabh batra iit jodhpur himanshi iit mandi mohammad arif iit ropad harpreet singh iit tripati s v v r mohit wepa on stage all the proud recipients please you turn your back on you we have the the rest of the recipients from this batch mohit harpreet and mohammad arif so moving on thank you ladies and gentlemen we start with the iit alabad now Sahil Kumar help you next study grant second edition Anurag Singh also from NIT Allahabad Vaishnavi Chhalya Chhala NIT Gopal Narman Ahuja NIT Gopal Ruthvik Kumar Reddy NIT Calicut Girish Shankar NIT Calicut So all of these recipients are requested to please come on stage and requesting the audience to please 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 thank you moving on to the next contingent from NIT Jaipur we have Sachin Gautam and Gauri Pada NIT Jalandhar Shruti Gupta NIT Jalandhar again Uchal Morarka NIT Nagpur Chakka Sabarish NIT Puducherry Gotipati Akhila NIT Roorkela Ritwik Devadatta NIT Roorkela again We have Saleh Fauzan Sheikh NIT Surat Purvank Nilesh Bhai Shah NIT Surat again Abhishek Tiwari NIT Surat Kal Pratik Jalyan NIT Surat Kal again Appan Anila So moving on with the recipients again. Do we have on stage Pratik Jalyan, Apana Anila, NIT? Okay, wait. So next contingent we have from NIT Trichupalli, Nagavali Chatla, Surya Teja Tumu, Talakola Vankata Rajiv Trubedi. NIT Trichupalli K Harsha Naga Satyavara Prashad Shubham Kumar Still continuing with the LPU Nest Study Grant 2nd edition 2020 inviting on stage 
this time not from the engineering background from but the law universities can we have from nlu bangalore devansh bhat nlu devansh bhat ankit bhardwaj nlu bhopal mohit kumar nlu delhi abhinit maurya nlu hyderabad pradyuman singh NLU Kolkata Alek Bhaskar NLU Lucknow Avantika Singh NLU Patna Anurag Kumar Again NLU Patna Sundram Gaurav NLU Raipur Pragyanshu Gautam NLU Rant Ranchi Aditya Raj Gupta NLU Ranchi again Aman Yuvraj Chaudhary finally NLU Sonipat Saira Khan This time's recipients are from IIT, IDC, starting with Bombay, Boka Pawan Sai, Abhimanyu Ullas, from NID, Kurukshetra, Ahmed Habibi Ben, Shabir, NID, Vijaywara, So last contingent from the LPU Nest Study Grant 2020, the second edition, we have recipients from NEFT, NEFT Kandra Himanshi, NEFT Kolkata Kirti Raj, NEFT Kolkata again Richa Sinha, NEFT Shillong Akanksha Dubey. HM Mumbai, we have Rashmit Kaur. Wait, wait. So now we move on to, ladies and gentlemen, the LPU study nest grant. Study Grant Edition 3, 2021. So all those recipients who are eligible in the year 2021, this third edition of the Study Grant. First we begin with IIT Delhi, Sunit Roy Karamaka, Kinahuk Bansal, IIT Delhi, Rama Sahitya Bandaru, IIT Delhi, Atishe Agarwal, IIT Delhi, Aditya Gupta, IIT Delhi. Aham Gupta, IIT Delhi. Aryan Roy, IIT Delhi. So ladies and gentlemen, just for your information, now we have started giving the awards and the scholarships to the third edition, the year 2021. And the first contingent has already gone and now we are inviting the contingent from IIT Dhanabad, Nilagri Dayapunav Satwik, Venkata Sai Kiran, IIT Dhanabad, Cheka Venkata Sai, Monica, IIT Dharwad, the third edition recipients do also reserve, deserve a big round of applause. Let's put some more efforts. So 
नेक्स्ट वी मूव ऑन टू आई टी हैदराबाद वी हैव यज्ञेश रेडी अक्कसानी बोगलापली सहिंशु आई टी हैदराबाद अंबिका गोविंद वर्षिनी जनाला आई टी हैदराबाद The next is a contingent from IIT Madras, and I'm calling on stage. Ready, Wari Sohit Sai, ready. Potu Raju Pachikora, IIT Madras. Asi Sai Guntupali, IIT Madras. Gedela Sunil Kumar, IIT Madras. Hemant Ganta, IIT Madras. Kozi Ready Sampath Kumar, IIT Madras. Mola Kalapali Akhila IIT Madras and Gomari Joseph Emerald IIT Madras So thank you ladies and gentlemen on stage and we are moving on to the next contingent IIT Roorkee Khushi Bhateja Akhil Punia Nimrant Vaishnav Usha Asri Alia Vasu Agarwal Arash Chaudhary IIT Roorkee Abdul Basit Habib IIT Roorkee Harshwardhan RG IIT Roorkee Vishrut Soni IIT Roorkee and Sundram Pandey IIT Roorkee Big round of applause for these proud people, the meritorious students. Calling the next contingent, and we have from IIT Varanasi, Bomadi Mukesh Kumar, IIT Bhubaneswar, Valuri Virendra Sai Prabhav, IIT Bhubaneswar, Kalya Pali Yaswant. From IIT Bombay, we have Chetanya Agarwal. IIT Bombay again. Pothi Reddy Hari Prakash IIT Goa Maruti Madhu Kiran So the next recipients are from IIT Kanpur Sirimani Chandana Jayanti from IIT Kharagpur, we have Vinayak Agarwal. IIT Kharagpur again, Janta Kalyan. This time from IIT Mandi, Paras Bedi. Paras Bedi, IIT Mandi. IIT Roper, Gochi Patla Satya Prakash. IIT Tripati, Malayala Vidya Bhushan. And IIT Tripati once again. Pagalu Pavan So IIT Kanpur we have Don Kena Mani Deep NIT Agartala Tripati, so please go on stage for the Malayala Vijayabush, yeah, Pagolu Pavan, Don Kena Manideep, IIT Kanpur. So moving on to the next batch of recipients we have from NIT Agartala, Dharamjeet Kumar, Purna Durga, NIT Andhra Pradesh, NIT Arunachal Pradesh, 
Vindamuri MNR S Manidhar. Anatic Calicut. We have Golapali Hitesh Reddy. Anatic Jalanda Prashant Kumar. Anatic Jalanda again Anshika Chuhan. NIT Jalandar Himanshu NIT Jalandar again Kunal Singla NIT Jalandar Shamir Ali NIT Jalandar Preet Kamal Singh Sandhu NIT Jalandar again Akshita Bansal So next we have NIT Kurukshetra Sachin Kumar, NIT Jamshedpur Zitu Kumar, NIT Raipur Khushi Bansal, NIT Suratkal Chetan Nice, NIT Suratkal again Gumaluri Venkata Raviram, NIT Trichupali Venkata Ajay Kumar, NIT Warangal Ganuga Pati Teja Pritika NIT Warangal So we have the next contingent from the National Law School of India Shweta Ramachandran NLU National Law University Delhi Priyanjali Malik Again from National Law University, Shashwat Watts. We are moving on to NEFT and we have... So, So big, big round of applause with all these recipients, ladies and gentlemen. For the first and the last time, let's have a big one. And we can see some of the proud parents sitting here. It is their motivation, inspiration and the facilities that they have provided that these recipients could get the award today. Time to invite... So all the parents who would be privileged and are interested to get a photograph in order please if we have too much we will switch into the batches as we announced earlier. So so the first seven parents can go on top of the desk and please stay there. We'll be calling you one by one. certificate and the check would be available after this function in the basement of block 29 so you're requested to please collect before you leave So 
can we have the next batch of parents I stand corrected that the check and certific original certificates would be received from the place where you had registered in the morning that is block 30 room number 102 and 104. can see the enthusiasm in the parents as well So thank you. We call the next batch of parents. Mommy just played the pen. All your girls they just wanna have fun. But it's the same old thing that we all see. Same old thing that keeps me keen. But I just wanna be alone. Just wanna be alone. Same old thing. Same old thing that keeps me around. If you wanna come around, maybe it's cool. And if you wanna fuck around, maybe I do. So the, we have two lines there, the first line should carry mostly of ladies and people who are slightly short in stature, the taller people should follow the second line, we should have 20 people there. Thank you. Can we move on to the next batch, sir? The ladies and the shorter stature people can form the first line and the second contingent should be for the taller people. And you can stand in the verge where your faces are visible. And as I announced earlier, the original certificates and the check would be, can be received in block 30, room number 102 and 104, the place where you got registered in the morning today. Can we have the ladies in the front please? And all the parents, can we do it in 15 seconds for one shot? have the next batch on stage
So requesting all those parents who have got their photograph done once, please do not come on again on the stage. We have lots of other parents to accommodate. Please bear with us. Just two more groups. Last two groups are there. Thank you. Let's form two lines. Ladies and the shorter stature people in front, the others at the back. 20 people at one go. 15 seconds for one shot. And as we thank you and invite the next group of parents on stage. So, requesting all those who have got themselves photographed, please sit down. There is still a very ominous ceremony to be done. Please settle down. The function is not over yet. Hurry up, the parents are requested to please hurry up. The last group of parents, all those who are standing are requested to please settle down. We still, we have two more items on the agenda before we break for lunch. Thank you. requested to please request the parents to settle down all those who are standing they should settle down so please settle down all those who have got their certificate the photograph clicked please settle down we have a couple of more items and it'll just take a couple of more minutes so please settle down requesting the team to please ensure that everyone is settled down Thank you. The last batch of parents on stage, all those who got them just clicked are requested to please settle down. We have two very important points on our agenda before we break for lunch. That's the last contingent and let's have a big round of applause for each one of the students who's got the scholarship today and the parents who have accompanied them. A big, big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Give it to them. Thank you. And requesting all of you to please settle down and settle down fast as I request Pro Vice Chancellor Dr. Sanjay Modi sir for the vote of thanks. And after this we have the national anthem. I would request all of you to please exhibit the proper decorum and protocol that is required. Good afternoon everyone. Honorable Chief Guest of the Day, Governor Mizoram, Madam First Lady of Mizoram, the heads of faculty of lovely professional university, staff, and all the recipients of these very prestigious awards from all parts of the country. It's been really heartening to have you all on this occasion today. As the awards were being distributed and the names were being called, I was wonderstruck. There were some names which were difficult to pronounce and which showed that we had students from every part of the country who were represented in the contingent which has been awarded over the last three years. And that highlights the diversity of India and how India celebrates its diversity. So hearty congratulations to everyone. And uh, many thanks to the Honorable Governor for sparing his time to be with us today on this very important occasion where these students have started their careers in very prestigious institutions. Let me take this opportunity to say a few things. At the end of the day, I can assure you, it is not 
the quality of the institution that will take you forward in your career, in your life. It will ultimately be your hard work, your commitment to what you do. So my request and exhortation to all people who have got admission to the best institutions of the country to be on the guard and not rest on the laurels of having got admission to the best of the institutions because they have a tremendous burden on their shoulders to carry forward. People in the profession would be expecting, waiting for you with very high hopes about how you perform, how you engage yourself, how you deal with people. And it will be pertinent to mention here that LPU may not be in the ranks of the IITs or the IIMs today, but students of LPU have got, please don't mind if I'm putting, quoting some figures, uh, they might kind of astonish some of you. Our BTEC students have been getting packages of close to 65 lakhs per annum, and not one. Plenty of them, plenty of them. And if you count the number of people getting packages above 40 lakhs, there's a very large number. And so it goes with all disciplines of LPU. Which goes on to prove the point that in case the institution makes you work hard and you commit yourself to what you're expected to do, you can do very well anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. You have to be an eklavya. You can do without a guru as well. But then institutions do have a role to play, but I think you have a greater role to play as students to be able to absorb the right you know, academic concepts, the right skills, and plus, above overall and above anything else, the right values. I think today, if you look at the global scenario, the industry, they expect, you know, skills industry would anyway give. I've been talking to a lot of industry people and say, what is it that you look at when you hire students? Majority of them would say, sir, in case you can give them good values and good communication skills, we'll teach them these skills. Not to say that you should not have these skills, but this is to underline the fact that your value system has to be very strong, which is partly given to you by your parents and partly given to you by the institution which you belong to. And today, when we have more than 200 students passing out of I mean, uh, taking awards from LPU, I think we have those many ambassadors, including the parents, more than 500 ambassadors of LPU we have today on the campus. I hope and wish you speak well about LPU. You will not find too many institutions, as the Honorable Governor also mentioned, not too many institutions would try to award excellence anywhere it exists. Normally people would award their own people, try to support them, but it's very, rare and a very noble thought to be able to reward people, support them in their struggle for excellence for people who can study anywhere. And for this, I think our Honorable Chancellor and the Pro Chancellor deserve in absentia a thunderous round of applause for what they have conceived. I think it takes a lot of vision and courage. What you see in LPU is the result of the vision of one person, the Chancellor of LPU, Dr. Ashok Mittal, who right from day one, I happen to have the privilege of being associated with LPU from day one, when the first institution came up, only one building, uh, and today we have more than 57 blocks and um, more than 600 acres of land over which it is spread and hundreds and hundreds of acres for agriculture available. That is the result of hard work and tremendous entrepreneurship which the Chancellor displayed. And this is what is expected of every student of LPU. And the Honorable Governor just mentioned that we have won the Innovation Award in the country as the third uh, Innovation Award. Uh, we have a startup school in LPU which supports people. We have incubation center which supports people. We provide funding also for starting uh, the urban ventures by students. And we have a large number of ventures on the campus. So why I'm mentioning these things is, these are important anywhere in the country. Wherever you are, please be good enough to absorb all the good values. Don't just restrict yourself to the classroom. LP is known for holistic teaching. 
we have 150 student clubs, and each student becomes member of a couple of clubs. And by the time he passes out, he can communicate well. He he's in a multicultural environment, and that is what prepares him for global careers. So I hope and wish all of you would have brilliant careers wherever you are there, engineering, law, management, hotel management, and any discipline that you belong to. And once again, I, I, from the core of the heart, on behalf of the Chancellor LPU, Pro-Chancellor LPU, and the entire faculty and students of LPU, our grateful thanks to the Honorable Governor for his very benign presence today. All the way from Mizoram, he's come to be with the students, and he was very happy and amazed that a very large number of the recipients were from Andhra, so they wanted to be very close to him, and uh, which is a matter of joy for him too, so many people belonging to his home state. But I think the governor belongs to the whole country now. So we are all overjoyed to have you with us, sir, today, and hope and wish this association will last long. And I'm sure a lot of students would have taken inspiration from his career, being an academic for more than two and a half decades, you can also look at the kind of trajectory which his career has taken and can think of entering politics. It's not that bad a game now. You have a lot of academic people, good, sincere people entering into politics. So with these words, all the very, very best wishes to all of you. Grateful thanks to all the parents who have joined in such large numbers to be with their awards. And thank you very much for being with us today. And very grateful to the Governor and Ma'am Governor for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And now with this, we rise for the national anthem. Thank you. And once again, the parents and the recipients are requested to collect the original check and the certificate. Please proceed towards block 30, room number 102 and 104, the place where you got yourself registered. And all of us should proceed for lunch in the basement of block 29. Thank you. <laughs>